everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the April Allure box. But before I unbox that and go over it with you guys, I do have a quick update I want to make. Now if you did watch my last video unboxing my April's Ipsy boxes, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't checked out that video already, be sure to go ahead and check it out right after this video. Just to kind of sum up what happened, basically one of my boxes was missing items and I was waiting for them to ship the items that I was missing and they finally got here, so here they are. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and see if all the missing items are there. I was missing three items. Fingers crossed that they are on this bag. Moment of truth. Okay. Do you guys see this? The box is squished. And it's like half opened. <sighs> so the product's in here. So this was one of my $3 add-ons that I was missing. It's an IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer. Okay. Item number two is a Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. Okay, and the color I ordered is Crush. Okay, perfect. They sent the right one. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Here's the packaging up close. I try to choose a very nude color because I don't have enough nudes in my collection. Okay, so there's what the color looks like. Okay, so let's see if they have item number three. All right, so the last item is a Luxie Small and gold eye brush. I'm glad all three items arrived semi safely. You guys saw the box that the concealer came in. I'm not gonna say anything further about that. I'm just happy that all my items came. Now let's dive right into our Allure box. Just a quick side note as I open this up for you guys. I actually subscribed to them a month ago. And I guess I subscribed at the end of the month, which means you got two bags, which I did. But then when the month of April started, I realized I was never billed for April's box. And I actually really wanted it because there's a certain lippy in here that I have been dying for. I'll tell you why later. So I resubscribe to Allure. I don't really understand Allure's billing schedule and shipping schedule. Like Ipsy and BoxyCharm, you know when you're gonna be billed. They give you like a certain day of the month that everyone's billed on. It's not whatever day you subscribe or anything like that. And Allure, I just don't understand. And I emailed their customer service because I was like, hey, I'm already subscribed and I just resubscribed to you guys. Am I gonna get multiple boxes? or whatever or am I just gonna be built for the one even so what happened to the first time I subscribed like where did that go and it was kind of like an automated message that got back to me since you subscribed you will be charged and billed and shipped accordingly and that was really like kind of it I don't know whatever let's see what I got okay so when you open the box you receive this pamphlet. I guess this is the influencer that they teamed up with for this month's box. Honestly, I've never heard of her. I haven't heard of a lot of people, so it's not like a, oh, I haven't heard of her. She's nobody. No, I just, I'm very basic with who I watch on YouTube. Honestly, if May rolls around and I'm not billed for the box, I'm not resubscribing again. That's too much work. Now, what I actually do like about Allure is their items come in like these sleek little bags. And I'm not mad at it. Like, Ipsy, the glam bag, I was annoyed with getting all those stupid little bags with the designs on them. Like, yeah, they're cute, but I'm not 12, so I don't need all of those. So the first item I'm going to pull out for you guys is the Briogeo Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. I like the products from this brand. They've all had my hair feel super soft and not frizzy. Now, the next item I'm pulling out is is an organic tan infused cloth for face and body. Now I'm not really into self tanning because I've done it once before and the one time I did do it, I was going to Aruba so I was trying to have like a nice tint going on and I went into the ocean and not only did it take the tan off, it left a little bit on so I came out tiger stripes and all, I looked ridiculous. All right, the next item I am pulling out is the Laura Geller New York Incredible, oh, Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Emerald City. I'm kind of excited for this because I've been wanting some colorful eyeliners and I've been wanting them from subscriptions as well because all the subscriptions I have, they send eyeliners, but they're all black. I have enough black eyeliner 
to last me until I am dead when I'm 80. I am obsessed with emerald greens and blues and sapphires and just emerald is my favorite gemstone so ooh, I really like this color. I like how it's a little shimmery too. Item number four is a Luxie Small Tapered Blending Brush. I love all of Luxie's brushes. These just all work so well. So I was so happy to get another one. Item number five is a Natasha Denona Single Shadow. Here's what the color looks like. And this is so creamy and pigmented. Oh my goodness. And last but not least, the final item is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. The shade is Pure Hollywood. Now the reason I was so excited to get this shade was because when I got my lips done back in March, I had to go to work the next day and I was bruised and swollen and I looked crazy. And I texted my coworker as soon as I got to work, I was like, please bring me a nude lippy and she brought her whole makeup bag luckily to work that day and the lippy she had was this one and it was the exact shade i went i put it on in the bathroom i did a full face and i came out and throughout the day i was really looking at the lippy and i fell in love with it so i was looking online to maybe buy it and then i remembered seeing that allure had a lippy coming out in this month's bag or box or whatever sure enough they did and it was pure hollywood so i was so excited i was like yes now i don't have to buy the lippy that's like 20 plus dollars love you anastasia but your girl's broke so yeah that's when i resubscribed i guess and she's here now that the boxing's undone i will tell you guys i did go into this box before this video and i did use the majority of these products for today's look the only things i didn't use were the tanning cloths the eyeliner and the briogeo hair thing because my hair is already dry and done i don't need it if you guys do want to see how this look all came together then be sure to go to my instagram where i am posting a little video speed up clip of how this came to be make sure you go and follow me on my instagram as well well that is it for today you guys thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe so you never miss when a video is posted all right guys i will hopefully see you all in my next video have a fantastic day